So this is a farm. Um, so that's a poultry farm. This is where we want to use. Okay, there we have broilers. Um, we have two pen over there, and here we we want to use for uh, layers. Um, currently, you can see my farm, my workers. We trying to do some. We want to plant some some stuff. In fact, if you could see, we had corn that was planted, planted corn um, this this year, and we gave some of our corn to our customers. So that is one way of just saying thank you to our customers. And so these are farm. You can see is actually in the bush. And over there, you can see another farm. That's our neighboring farm. So neighbor farm there, they have layers. Um, we have a very good relationship with them over there. So sometimes when we, because we also say egg here. So sometimes we, we just go there, pick some egg for our customers. Manager smiling. Look at that. That's the manager trying to dodge. Look at. <laughs> so, so that's a neighboring farm. Um, so that's it's very important to have good relationship with your neighboring farms um, because sometimes there are things you want you don't have. This promise, promise. Say hi. <laughs> that's from yeah. one of our stuff. Um, so that's the the neighboring farm. So it's, it's important to have a good relationship with your neighboring farms uh, because sometimes there are things you you don't have that they have, or there are customers you don't have that they have. You could share customers, you could share resources, you could share knowledge, you could share different things. They also do broilers there as well. Um, we do just, uh, we currently do broilers, uh, but we intend uh, doing our layers here. And that, that will be our broiler farm, this will be our layer farm. Um, so, so, one of the things that I want to talk about is the the importance of having you see this is a road this is road so it's important that you have access access road a motorable road um so you need to also make sure that when you're considering a place to set up your farm that is not in a residential area though you know sometimes some farms are set up in sometimes some farms are set up in residential areas sometimes development comes and meets you there like here now development is fast you know it's fast here yeah, it's, it's fast approaching coming to us and maybe in the next two years you won't recognize this place but at the initial stage if you really really considering um where to set up your farm you must take into account significant facts some very important factors like you know it has to be a place that is a little bit you know not in fact that is not a residential area that is you know in the bush but not like in the bush 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 where human beings are not you can't find the human beings or you you don't have access road like this and you know you know as you can see we have people in fact there's a community over there you see people is you see if you look over there you see some some communities you see some communities around but it's not like they they're not like so much encroached because the truth is actually during rainy season the litters can may smell though we've been able to devise some means to have almost odorless uh, litter um, but sometimes you, you can get it always right sometimes the litters we smell especially when it come in contact with water or maybe the people who, your buyers do not come maybe they take some time maybe a week or two before they come so you may experience um, some you know the litter being some offensive um, smell and 
in fact this land we had to purchase this land this this was not part of her land we had to purchase it because of this very reason because um, when development comes in here comes and meets you you don't want a situation where your neighbors start complaining that oh you know the litters are smelling and you know it can become a problem for you but that's the reason why we said okay you know what we did everything possible within our means to acquire this land this neighboring land here so that is so is very important extremely extremely important that when you this the factors you consider that you make sure that it's not in residential area that is a um, hello well done no no well done now in a day well done well done well done yeah so you, you must make sure that when you considering these are the factors you consider when when determining where to locate your farm that is not in residential area that it is you know in a place you know um a little bit distance from um residences it has good access road it has good water as you can see let me point you look we had to provide water for the community that is water we provide for the community and this is very important in fact i'll talk about this maybe in a separate video but but it is important to understand that you are not in isolation from others the community is a very integral part of the sources of your business if the if you have a situation where you don't you do not have a good relationship with the community um you know you you, you may find yourself entangled with domestic politics or the community not happy with the poultry farm um and that can also lead to the to the to the closed closure of such business so you must take that into account and find a way to do some social corporate responsibility within your farm try as much as you can to find a way to empower the community um of course the community do benefit from the establishment of your poultry farm uh, because for example this poultry farm uh, with it brings development people like buyers people that do come to this place you know some of them may pick interest in buying land around here and building the house you know they some of them may have not even come to this place before and now because of this poultry farm they've, they've come to the they, you know they, they are here and they may just pick one or two interests Two, the communities are like they are mostly farmers here right they are mostly farmers here um, and as such you they maybe when they plant they may want to they may want to they may want to like you know um, as you can see these are people's farm they may need manure to as fertilizers for their farm so instead of them to maybe travel far to get to this manure, they would just, you know, walk down here and pick up manure, you know, um, you know. So, so some, even sometimes we offer, we give some of the community members, sometimes we do give community members free liters. Um, we, so, and this water that we provide there is completely free. It's, you, you don't, it's always on 24-7 you know and communities in fact sometimes we we have we've seen situations where community members we come knock at the at the gate and say thank you very much for giving us this water previously we used to walk um far distance to fresh water and you know and we do buy water you know and but now it's closer to us we just come in here pick um fresh water and go sort out our businesses so the community definitely must benefit from the establishment of your poultry farm of course our poultry farm is what i would describe as medium scale we just have um we actually have this 3500 capacity uh poultry farm over there we have the big hall of 
3,000 and the small hole of um, 500. We have two brooding house, two, two brooding houses there. And when we set up this place, this place can take, uh, we intend to put in, could take up to 2,000 layers, but we would just, we want to just keep it to 1,000 layers. Um, so it's, 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 and also maybe one of the things I would talk about some other time is, should you begin, should you start with Braille or should you start with layers? Um, this 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 is um, a topic that would require a separate video, and I would dissect it, you know, um, deeply. And at the same time, I also let you know what I think one should do, um, depending on one's capital. So that is it. Um, and we live we live in peace with with our neighbors so let me show you that that is that is you know the cows the fulani um i think they are fulani yes main cow we live in peace with with the community we've never had um instances of issues farmers errors i think maybe because the um, the communities this community that i live in that i'm that i that are that we are, that we are is a peaceful community and as such there is very good coexistence between everybody really between it's just it's just respect it's just mutual respect um and you know we've never had instances of conflict here but that does not mean that that this our reality may be your reality in fact um, some people, some, some people, some videos I've seen, I, you know, some consultants are really, 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 really frown. They really, really frown on, on, on things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Good evening, sir. Wait a minute. So, yeah, this is a great job, bro. <laughs> well done, well done, Tony. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so it's, it's important to, to, to take that into our country. Okay, take care. Bye bye.